So this route home that we're taking today from Helsinki to Adelaide should have cost us over $2,000 per person. We are getting there for $237. Today we are flying all of the way from Helsinki, Finland to Adelaide, Australia. But between us stands about 38 hours, 10,000 miles, three flights, two massive layovers, maybe even an airport lounge or two. As if that wasn't enough, we are flying through three separate continents with three different airlines on three separate tickets. We have to pick up and recheck our bags every time we land. There is a very good reason for that. We are saving a bunch of money, but more on that later. Wow, that was the coolest security I've ever been through. The machines that scan your bags look like alien technology or MRI machines. And because I have some liquids in my bag, they pulled them out and she was like, is it okay if I analyze this? Yeah. Glass bottles we got from Italy that had balsamic vinegar in them and that analyzed through them was like, yeah, no worries, balsamic, all good. Now we've got a few hours to kill looking outside at the darkness and the last few moments of seeing snow. We didn't check in until the very last minute. So the only seats that were together that they could give us are two aisles. I'm super excited for in-flight movies and maybe a glass of wine. That was potentially the nicest border control I've ever been through in my life. The hospitality here is just on another level. I don't want to leave. Sleep on this flight. We'll be waiting for our uh, bags. As soon as uh, the loading is finished, uh, we shall start our engines and uh, taxi to remote dealing area. And uh, there we shall remove the ice and frost from the wings, which after we are ready to start our flight, flight time is about uh, 12 hours and 10 minutes. So I wish you a very nice flight. Thank you. Good morning. Kind of. We're landing into Singapore and it's about 7 p.m. We've got a break there and then we're on another plane. 13 hours later, we have arrived in Singapore. Now we have to collect our bags, clear customs, and check back in. bar and have a beer I wanted to take the time to explain exactly why we chose this long route that we're doing today this is gonna be a little bit long so if you're not into saving money on travel airline points or knowing how we got these flights for $237 all the way from Helsinki to Australia you can skip to this time card here pretty much we've been collecting Qantas points and airline points back at home for the last three years through a bunch of different ways it's mostly Qantas points with us which means we have access to rewards fares on Qantas you can book any Qantas partner flights with their points, but where you really get bang for your buck is the Qantas rewards flights. We pretty much use them exclusively and they're designated by a little red badge on the flights. They're not every flight and they can be quite hard to find. When we were looking for flights returning home from Northern Europe down to Australia, there was nothing. And we looked every day for about a week until we deconstructed the flight path a little bit and found one of our reward flights that would take us from Helsinki to Singapore, which is where we are now. And one major benefit of that meant that I could then use our Singapore Airlines points to fly the rest of the way back to Australia. This gets a little bit more complex when I'm talking about the Singapore Airlines points, 
But bottom line, anytime we spent any money in Australia, filling up our cars, shopping just for groceries, we were earning points. Most of those were flybys points, which you can convert and use with a few different airlines. We chose Chris Flyer, which is Singapore's rewards program, and that allowed us to book this flight home for next enough. There is a lot to unpack with travel hacking and figuring out how to use points and earn points the best way. I'm not gonna go into it now because I'm hot and sweaty. It's time for a beer. The original plan was to go to a lounge here in the Singapore airport that we went to way back when this whole journey started because there's a good deal for it on Get Your Guide and you can spend three hours there, drink everything you want, eat everything you want. But we were delayed leaving Helsinki so we only have two hours to go now after checking in and everything. So at least one last beer to celebrate the end of 10 months. We're flying home. We're about to board a flight to Australia. First 10 minutes. Okay. So we left Helsinki, it was negative 8 degrees. We're about to board a flight that will eventually get us to Adelaide, where guess what the temperature is? 30. 32. Ooh. What's that difference? 40 degree difference. It feels like this last 10 months has just been a magical whirlwind dream adventure. Even though multiple things have gone wrong, like falling off of a scooter, bribing some police. It's been the best. I'd do it all again in a heartbeat. Yeah, I'd do it all again. I'd miss the hospitalization though. Don't need that. I just have loved it. This trip back home, if you can't tell, has got us very nostalgic. After this flight, we will be in Australia. I would like to welcome all of you on our flight. SQ225 to Perth. Flight time today will be looking at 4 hours and 35 minutes. This is it, 5 hours. We're back in Australia. We did try and check in on the aisle and the window seats. Hopefully that this one's free and we get an extra seat, but time will tell. We're already so excited. Singapore Airlines is just a step above. I'm so excited for a glass of red wine and something to eat and to watch more movies. I love long haul flights. I know people would hate this, but I love it. It blows my mind that we left Helsinki in the dark. We arrived to Singapore in the dark. We're leaving Singapore in the dark. I don't know whether Perth will be where the sunrise will have hit yet, but it might be dark there as well. This is such a long travel day. strong Australian coffee. We are both truly so tired from those flights and the waiting in the airport. So glad that this waiting in the airport for seven hours gets to be done in a lounge with food, drinks, views. I honestly don't know how much more I can film. I'm getting pretty tired. With some of the travel hacking and cards that we have, we also get access to these lounges, which is amazing because it means for the next five hours we get to be comfortable looking out the window to all of the planes, drink as much coffee as we want without spending any money. <sighs> Do you want a toasty toasty? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How was it? Uh, it was a bit of a madhouse if I'm honest. I was there by myself, which was nice. 
and then another guy came but luckily there was two presses so that was fine he had one and then a third guy came luckily the other one had space next to him and then a fourth guy just came but he hadn't made a toaster toast he was just standing with us and i was like okay i'm just gonna go <laughs> so i would personally like it a bit more toasted than this but the pressure of the social anxiety got to me so i left <laughs> for about 40 hours straight now and we're about to board our last flight four more hours finally home get to see our puppy <laughs> 